I'm currently living next to a building site and the ambulances just seem to be picking corpses up from people's houses in the other parts of the valley day in day out hence making a video isn't always easy and then I've got the weather to contend with today it's sunny so because it's sunny I've dragged this fella out this is the Rock Pals 500 watt um, solar generator plus 100 watt folding panel and it's pretty cheap for what it is now if you've seen any of my previous videos you'll know that I'm a big fan of portable power stations I currently own two well no I currently own three now I've got a thousand watt one and two 500 watt ones you're probably thinking well he didn't really need this fella but Rock Pals contacted me and they said look we've seen videos you've done on previous um, solar generators would you mind taking a look at ours and letting your viewers know what you think hence this video and hence this and this becoming part of my extensive preparations for the end of the world okay so I've unplugged it there it isn't charging up at the moment but on the front we've got a display power button and that button just says display it just cycles through different um, information readouts on here to be honest it's not that important that is our feed in as is that as is that so you can actually feed it from three different sources this one is what I've got it feeding in to today which is connected up to the solar panels so we plug that in oh, you're not going to be able to see this in the Sun but you're just gonna to have to trust me that it says the battery is 90% and the input is 67 watts which considering that it's towards the end of April in the northeast of England and it's kind of mid-afternoon that's pretty good that's a very good conversion rate actually the panels only rated at 100 watts it's got multiple folds in it so it's not a single panel to be getting 67 watts of input out of that in those conditions is very very good that's our input side of things we've also got a couple of 12 volt DC outputs that's our DC button so we can switch the output to DC that is our AC button so we'll switch it to AC and on this side we've got two sockets unfortunately as you may have noticed these are US sockets I didn't know that when I said yes I would take a look at this so consequently I've had to buy a little bit of ex extra gear to actually use UK plugs and UK uh, appliances from this which is no great hardship I kind of wanted to buy those things anyway just again as part of my preparations so that's all good there's also a USB button here you press that and it switches the power output to here so really you've got three output options you've got your DC here AC here and USB here now whilst you're charging it like now only the USB outlets would work that's so it puts maximum charge into the battery it's not feeding in and straight back out again that's different to some of the previous ones we've taken a look at um, I think I'm not sure about the Jackery but surely the the all powers one could charge and discharge at the same time through the sockets the fact that this one can't isn't really a, a great hardship because once this is charged it will hold a lot of power and it holds that power in something that's pretty small and reasonably light now by anybody's standards I'm not Hercules but you know to hold that out at arm's length it's not a killer it's not super heavy and if you notice on each end here oh you might also have noticed that the sound has gone off these things here are vents so they vent any heat out so whilst it's charging once it gets up to a certain level of input I think uh, I've noticed it's roughly 50 watts of input anything more than that and the fan comes on to keep the unit cool and because the Sun's just gone behind a cloud 
the input is dropped to 27 watts. Now this Rock Pals unit is described as having a pure sine wave, which I haven't seen marketed on previous versions of these I've taken a look at from different manufacturers. And what a pure sine wave means is that the output is very consistent. I've got a petrol generator that's got a pure sine wave. And that's important if you're powering electrical devices, especially if they're delicate ones, because you want, you want a nice smooth power output. It's hard to explain, but if you look up pure sine wave, S-I-N-E wave, pure sine wave, you'll see what I mean. It's, it's basically, the output is a really smooth wave, you know? Yeah, currently this is on 91%. When I put it out about uh, an hour and a half ago, it was on 69%. So it's gone up over 20% in an hour and a half. It looks almost like a 1980s boombox without the speakers hello you could see those with the speakers it's very well made it's well designed it's got plenty of different outputs and it also comes with plenty of different input options as well so I'll show you those now I'll show you what comes with it you know that is a solid unit nice fitted handle on the top there's nothing rattling about it's just a very nice portable generator so as far as the power input goes into our um, generator we've got the tab lighter or cigarette lighter option which would obviously be charged from your car or your camper van or something we've also got a mains charger as you can see it's got a US plug on that's not a problem because I do have adapters and we've also got the input from the panel which obviously we would use if the sun was out then it's free electric and added to this input we've got little caps that can be taken off slotted onto there to make the input smaller bigger different shapes so we can power a nation of devices from this panel and the generator also has an input like that which i know is what the all powers panels use and also the jackery panels use so you can charge it from different manufacturers panels you don't have to go with the rock pals panel however given the conversion rate of that and how effective it is at this time of day at this time of year I would say go for that one that is a really good panel and I'd be interested to see if I attach that one to say the jackery or the all powers generator how much it would put in compared to their own panels because I think the Jackery one was okay that one folded the all powers one it was just a single folding one I did go with a multi folding one as well that really shouldn't be producing as much power as it is so I am impressed with it now on the downside it doesn't come with any little folding legs on the back so you do have to stand it against something to capture the Sun to keep it all flat that's no great hardship though because generally you would just you know in the middle of summer you just generally just lie it down on the ground or the side of this patio you could just lie it against that and it would stay more or less flat this folds up pretty small it's got good secure fixings on it it's got a well-made handle and it doesn't weigh a ton either I mean size wise that's pretty small that'll fit on your average shelf it'll fit in well it'll certainly fit in the bottom of your sock drawer or something like that you know it's not huge but it does have a very good output and like the other ones we've taken a look at in the past it's got a zippy up pocket on the back for you to chuck your cable in keep that secure I think I might put all the charging gear and all that other stuff in there as well there's certainly room no problem so as far as the features of the panel and the generator goes that's pretty much it I don't think there's anything more to say about it other than it is a really good buy and 
when I looked at the Rock Pals website, which is what I'll link to in the video description, these were way cheaper than the other options we've taken a look at in the past. I do like this. I do like it a lot. It would be perfect if it had UK outlets. They may manufacture them now with UK outlets. If not, really all you need is a converter plug to take it from US input to UK input. However, you do need something in addition to that because the output from here out of these sockets is 110 volts and as you know in the UK we use between 220 and 240 volts so our appliances won't work properly in this some will though you know the likes of laptop chargers they're between 110 and 240 quite a lot of things are universal like that but some aren't for the ones that aren't all you would do is plug your converter plug into something like this. This is something I'll link to in the video description and this is the Best Tech Power Converter. It's basically a step up converter that takes the output from here and converts it to 240 for our sockets. And it's also got the UK sockets on there. You can get different versions of these for different countries and all that malarkey. And it also comes with a nation of different uh, like adapter sockets so you can pretty much use one of these all around the world. I know this shouldn't really form part of this review but this is a very handy unit to have. You know if you can only get say a generator in an emergency that has a 110 output you'd simply plug that into it it would boost it up to 240 and then you could use our UK appliances from this. It does only feed out a maximum of 200 watts though which is okay because this only has a capacity of 500 watts with 750 watts being drawn from it at a peak but that won't last long. 500 watts maximum. So 200 watts I mean that's you know that's still multiple laptops and all sorts of crap you could plug in there. It's reasonably cheap on Amazon I think it was 40 43 44 quid or something and it's got two outlets on off switch and it's got multiple outlets there for your usbs so if you're on holiday or something you could power a nation of stuff with that and that's just a useful extra thing to have on standby if and when the mains power goes off which for me it actually did today so we've been operating on our solar today not quite sure why it keeps going off every time I intend to film a video about solar power but it just seems to work out like that. I think the last video it went off as well so we were actually running on our solar at that point as well. <laughs> now even if Rock Pals don't end up doing a UK version of this particular unit it still could be of interest to us in the UK with a simple addition of something like that because as I said near the start the cost of this gear is very attractive and really given the fact that everything in this age of crisis is going sky high in price it's good to find something that's very well made and performs well has a good capacity and really is for the masses anybody who wants to prepare for a power outage this is definitely worthy of consideration Check the links out in the video description. If you've liked the video, share it wherever you want. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.